Okay, so I'm logged in um, here under uh, test account, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Uh, when you're logged in, you can see that um, messages that are white are unread, and messages that are gray in the background are messages I have already read. Um, you can see the number of unread messages I have in my inbox right now by looking over here. I can see that there are four messages. Now, incidentally, um, this email system is outstanding for searching for messages. First class was okay, but let's say I want to find a message that was sent to me. Well, it's not going to be that exciting because it's going to be this message, but I know that it was sent to me by Matt and that he said, how are you in it? You can basically type a person's name and whatever you think was in a message and search and it'll find it. It's, uh, it's amazing for searching. Um, so, I'll go back and just uh, look at the main box. Um, so, unread messages are white, red messages are gray. Um, there are other things you can do to messages. Messages that you think are important that you want to uh, keep for later, you can uh, mark them as, uh, you can put a star beside them. So I'll put a star here. And now any message that I have put a star beside will show up in the starred folder. So that's a quick way of, of maybe reminding yourself um, to either go back and deal with these later, or I use it as a system of, I have you know, maybe 20 emails that I need to look back at often. I just put a star beside them, and then whenever I need to find them, I know, ah, they're in my starred folder, and I go check them out. Um, any messages you've sent are in the send box. As I mentioned before, the inbox is where you receive things. Your sent messages is where all your messages uh, that you send end up. Um, let me just show you one more thing. I'm going to compose a brand new message here. So I'm going to hit compose, and... Um, all you need to do is in the to box, which is the first box, first class had the subject box first, which is backwards compared to most email systems. So usually you have who you send it to, then the subject, and that's how Gmail works. So I'm going to send this message to Matt. That's me. So I just start typing the person's name, and it shows up. Uh, I can do the same with a student if I want. Let's throw Tom on here. Um, if you want to CC someone on a message, you just click Add CC. And maybe we'll throw Stefan on this. Um, you can also type the person's last name if you want. Uh, then we can add a subject. Hi. Um, and if you want to attach a file, you do that right here. So you click attach a file. You can browse and find the file you want to attach. And you can see it's uploading. And once that blue bar disappears and there's a check mark, you know the file is attached. You can attach another file if you want as well. And again, you can see it uploading, and the check mark means that it is attached. Okay, so this is where you compose your message down here. Um, you can type, you can highlight text and make it bold, you can make it underlined, you can make it italic. Basically, any of the formatting that you're used to having, uh, you have here as well. There are even emoticons, so you can put some musical notes if you'd like, or whatever whatever you want. It's all there. Um, I'll just push that again to get rid of it. You can add numbered lists, um, bulleted lists, and you can indent things, add quote blocks, and justify, just like you can in most editors, and it even has a check spelling option. Um, Safari uh, by default checks your spelling. As you can see, it underlines it red. However, if you're using a browser that doesn't do that, you can push the check spelling box and it'll do it for you. Uh, when you're ready to send the message, you'll notice up here it's got a big happy send button. But let's say you're not ready to send it. You might want to just save it and then go check your messages and finish writing it later. So you'll notice now there's a number one beside my drafts. If I click that, I can see I've got a draft. I go ahead and click it. I can see, oh, I was sending it to Matt Pro, Tom, and CCing Stefan. It still has all its attachments and everything I'm written, and when I'm ready, I push send. Let's say you've written a message and you don't want to send it, though. You can push discard. 
One amazing thing about Google is that it gives us 25 gigabytes of space. That's a ton. You never need to delete your emails. So uh, I would say that I've, I have a personal Gmail account and I've been receiving email in it for uh, probably seven years and I have used about six gigabytes worth of space and I don't delete anything so that I can search it and uh, I can search all the way back to 2006 or whenever it was I started using it and I have all my messages. That could be um, a really useful tool here at school if you ever had a correspondence with someone you know a year ago and you want to go find them you just go ahead you know and type their name and it'll show you all the messages sent by that person it's very very cool um, so I've got I'm gonna go back to my inbox I've got things I've starred um, Google also guesses which things it thinks are important so it's decided that this message here is important and this one here is and how it decides that is if something is sent directly to you from a person within the organization so within Elmwood it's gonna say it thinks it's important and it signifies that by putting this little arrow this sort of tag beside it um, um, so if something is sent directly to you or sent to you from someone in the organization, it's going to think it's important. It'll sort of learn which messages you reply to and mark them as important on its own. It'll figure that out uh, as you go. I'm going to click here on more. There are different, um, there's a spam folder too. The very first few times you use Google, it might accidentally eat something in the spam. So you might want to check that, especially the first couple weeks of using it to make sure that no important messages are, are being uh, eaten by the spam filter. And that's how you check and compose a message.